Why do I have poop coming out after cleaning? I have the same problem. Wipe and wipe and wipe aggressively. Half an hour later have to do another wipe. Here comes the bidet army. Our ask docs might be a better place. This is actually normal. As a former infantryman, I know, you can wipe until doomsday. But the fact of the matter is that you still have DJIT residue that's up inside you that will eventually make its way out. Especially once you get into full work mode to where you're burning some calories and breaking a sweat. Think of that residue you find later in the day as you're inside sweating everything out. This can be a real problem for soldiers out in the field. Which is why we each typically carry wet wipes, gold bond powder, and a jar of Vaseline. This internal sweat residue can cause a condition that we call monkey butt. It's when you have that residue being flushed out your ass, plus heat and sweat that builds up around your crotch region. Take that heat and sweat combination. And this means your pores are open. Open more than enough for your internal shit residue to make it way into these open pores. As you can imagine, an awful itchy, burning chaffing is the result. It can really make a long tactical trek through any terrain. Really, a miserable experience. Chaffing between your inner thighs often occurs as well. There's something about monkey butt and chaffing of the inner thighs. They both often happen simultaneously. And they both love to see you in misery. Think of your shit residue as the turds of misery. And the best way to combat the turds of misery is to apply gold bond in those regions regularly as often as mission permits. Keep area clean as best as possible. Of course. But also take that jar of Vaseline and place some around your butt crack and inner thighs. Do all of those things and you should be just fine. This might not be about your cleanliness. You could seek help from a doctor. But, itchiness and struggling to stay clean can be a symptom of hemorrhoids and is very common. Essentially this is where a vein or area becomes inflamed or pushes through where it shouldn't. Other signs include small red spots of blood on toilet paper. And sometimes a soft spot next to your anus or even a lump that goes away when you press it. Or push back into your anus. But returns after a while. There are topical treatments which can help for it and clear it up in days. They're available over the counter. You need to follow the instructions and keep up the treatment for a while for it to go away. But there's a chance it will reoccur and just be a lifelong thing. Other things you can do is to not be so rough when wiping. Don't strain to push your poop out. Don't sit on the toilet too long. Don't go on your phone for ages. Eat more fibrous foods. And as some people are suggesting using a bidet or shower to clean instead of paper or wipes as it's gentler. Hemorrhoids can cause not all of your poop to come out. And can also open your anus a little so any poop you've not let out and stays in you may come out. Later as you walk about and move etc. It's diet, you need more fiber and probiotics. It's still in your rectum. You can bidet all day. But the only thing that's going to get it out is your finger up in there. This happens to me when my poops are too big and they scratch my anus. Try to poop more frequently and eat more fiber. And stay hydrated. You need some fiber in your life. Left greens are the answer. The water pressure from a showerhead is a much better cleaning method than toilet paper also. Consider a cleansing enema. Farting, especially wet ones, lets fecal matter escape. Lower your dairy intake, up your veggies. I thought I was the only one. I am lactose intolerant and my stomach gets upset when I eat too much sugar so I assumed it was one of those. Wet farts? I've had this problem twice before. 
What happened is that you've irritated your anus with too much wiping. Take a bath or two. Try to reduce wiping intensity. And eat some more fiber and have some more water. I hear a lot of people saying you need more fiber. That only might be the case if your poops have that thin. Smooth look and they're a little messy. But also it can be happening if you're not getting enough protein too. Ample protein also helps to properly move the stool through the intestines because proper protein levels help to stimulate bile production as well as progesterone levels, both of which play their part. More fiber. Try smoothies with salads leaves etc. I think maybe you're activating your turd cutter a bit prematurely. There's a reason OL folks are on the toilet for 45 minutes. This is the way. Colored water? Are you sure it's not blood? I had a problem where after going to bathroom I'd have some tiny drops of blood fall and I had itchy butt. I used to think it was a small scar in butthole. Finally one day I asked someone to take a look and it turned out it was an anal fistula above my asshole between the butt chicks and I needed a small surgery to remove it. I couldn't see that myself and if I hadn't found it, it would gave become bigger and probably more dangerous. Eat more fiber then your poop won't be so tacky. Sounds like you need a manpon. Wad up some paper towel, toilet paper, newspaper, or whatever you have laying around and shove it in your ass crack. It absorbs that yellow liquid. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.